first day in Slovakia. Country number 30. I'm look at one of the first things I see is Booyah. Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia, aka the 30th country I have ever visited in my life. Still many more to come. Yes, I've been all over the world. I'm finally here in Eastern Europe, seeing some of the countries I've wanted to see for so long. Czech Republic, Slovakia, soon I'll go to Hungary. One would think after traveling so many countries for the past six years, I think I'd be actually maybe kind of good at traveling by now. But as it turns out, I'm not. This trip has been a disaster of me just fucking up everywhere. My first major screw up of this trip happened in uh, Dublin, Ireland. I had a flight at 7 a.m. the next day to Berlin. And uh, one thing leads to another in Dublin pretty quickly, so I got way too drunk off the Guinness. And next thing I know, I woke up, it was like 8.45, completely missed my flight. Having to buy a new flight, it cost me maybe $250, which was a big fuck up, because my first flight was only $30. Flying across Europe is super cheap. You can get these budget airlines, but if you miss your flight, like me, you're gonna have to pay a lot more money. So now I was in Germany, in Berlin, and uh, I had two days there. I was a little, I was pretty hungover from Dublin and super jet lagged just from traveling. I had a flight, my flight was at 6 p.m., so there's absolutely no way I could miss this one. But uh, my friend who I was traveling with was like, Okay, we are going to the airport like four hours early. There's no way we're gonna miss this flight. And uh, that night the jet lag got to me. I was wide awake in bed all night till 5 a.m. I couldn't sleep. Finally fell asleep and I wake up to a knock on the door of my Airbnb. So those guys there to clean it. It's like 12.30. I'm like, shit, like what the fuck? I'm gonna miss my fucking flight. I'm not even going to be able to see my friends today, like, they're going to be so pissed off, what am I going to do? So I got the shit together super fast, like 20 minutes. And uh, went downtown, I had a couple hours to kill. And uh, so to get to the airport, I looked up on the maps, my maps and me. I was like, alright, sweet, I can just catch, I can catch this train to the airport won't be a problem. So maps me, dropped me off on the back side of the airport. I got off, I was like, what the fuck? Like, this is not right at all. So I started walking, I was like, this is fucked up. Like, I'm gonna have to walk all the way around the airport. It's gonna take so long. So I decided to flag down a taxi. The taxi was like, there's maybe a five minute taxi down the airport, it's super quick. No problem, and my taxi just driver decided to stop out the, out the gate so we could see uh, so we could see what terminal I had to go to and I was like yeah man my flight's uh, like 6 o'clock to Rome and he's like uh are you sure like I don't see this here I do not see a flight to Rome and I was like oh fuck I pull up pull up my phone look at my uh, I look at my ticket and I'm like oh my fucking god I'm at the wrong airport the other airport in Berlin is like miles and miles away. So I'm way on the other side of Berlin. He's like, oh, it's okay, bro. Like, like we'll, we'll take the highway. It'll be, it'll only be half an hour. Everything will be all right. So like, all right, man, just get me there. So that fuck up ended up cost me 60 euros, which is a lot of money, Canadian. But I made it. I made this flight. That was not an issue. So from here, we flew from Berlin to Rome slight issue but getting into Rome was completely fine and then from, we flew from Rome to Sicily completely fine we were there for five days and then uh, the day before we were gonna fly back home I get an email from Ryanair and they're like uh, your flight is canceled tomorrow I was like what the fuck no fucking way is this happening again like like how, how unlucky do I have to be that my flight's gonna get, just get canceled? Anyways, uh, Ryan Air Ryan Air hooked me up pretty well, 
they give me a free hotel room for the night, they, they fed me, they gave me free breakfast and a free dinner and a free shuttle to the airport. So I guess even after traveling 30 countries, I still make a lot of mistakes. I don't know, I'm kind of, I've always been kind of that guy who kind of just completely goes for it. No need to plan anything, just, just fully go for it, see what happens. Maybe, uh, maybe wake up and catch a flight though. I'm trying to drink so much in Dublin. Anyways, we just pulled up to another Christmas market in Bratislava. What's up? Classic Christmas carols.